Data obtained from LiDAR, light detecting and ranging, scanning, can be used to create point cloud objects. Airborne and terrestrial LiDAR sensors are used for scanning the surface of the Earth. The resulting data is stored in files called point clouds. A point cloud is a collection of 3D data that can represent ground, vegetation, building models, or other natural man-made objects. The Subscription Advantage Pack for Civil 3D 2010 introduced the point cloud object. A LiDAR scan of a bridge of our project was performed in order to provide point cloud information to the designer. The existing bridge will not be replaced, so the point cloud information could be used to check for minimum clearance requirements. Importing point cloud data. Point cloud data is commonly stored in a variety of formats. In this example, we will create a Civil 3D point cloud using an existing point cloud database. An option to create a point cloud using process point cloud file format, such as LAS, LAS, TXT, GeoTIFF, and PTX is also available. Creating a point cloud using the source file takes a bit longer, but you can continue working while the point cloud process is in the background. A notification message appears when the point cloud has been created. Visualize point clouds using styles. Styles can be applied to view the point cloud in a manner that conveys information to the designer. Since we need to maintain a minimum clearance of 75 meters between the road and the bridge, we will use a point cloud style that shows elevation ranges. This will help to identify any potential problem areas that need to be addressed in the final design. The elevation of the crown of the road under the bridge is provided, 16, 15 meters. To visually inspect whether a minimum clearance of 75 meters will be maintained, the maximum elevation of the first range will be set to 1615 plus 75, which would be 1690. Using a visual elevation visual inspection of the point cloud, it appears that a minimum clearance requirements will be met. The display of point clouds is important, but to maximize the value of a point cloud, data can be extracted and used for eventual production. Recent development near our project site resulted in the need to collect su supplemental surface data. A LiDAR scan was performed to provide this additional information. In the next steps, the data from the point cloud will be added to the existing surface named Project Surface. The border of the project surface can be seen, as well as a point cloud that was created from LiDAR data. The workflow involving generating a Civil 3D surface from a point cloud has been improved in Civil 3D 2011. This enhanced functionality will enable, enable users to utilize LiDAR data in more ways, including the use of the original point cloud information as a standard Civil 3D surface for profile and corridor creation.